Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 23 of my creation kit series. Alright guys, this time around I'm going to show you how to make a teleport map. It's not an idea I came up with. I actually got the I first saw the idea in the underground bathhouse. As you can see I've got this nice little setup that I've made here. This is a mesh mashup. This board with this map on it. This nifty map that I picked up on picked up through a Google search and retextured the Civil War map for it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a teleporting map flag that will teleport into the throne room of whatever wherever you place it or any place in Skyrim for that matter. Now the first thing you're gonna need for your mod are the meshes for the map flags these right here. So if you've un if you've unzipped your Skyrim BSAs and made yourself a resource folder which I highly recommend you will find that in meshes inside of meshes and you go to clutter you go on down and you will find civil war and you find your civil war map flags we're going to go ahead and open up the nif file for this and this is the civil war map this isn't what i wanted i want this the civil war map flag the first one is the red one, the second one is the blue one. So we're going to be using the red one and the blue one. So I copied both of them and I put them in my mod folder and I renamed them RLB000 RLB map flag 01 and 02. Now you don't need any textures for these. These are these will automatically load the textures from the game and I made doors you can cop you copy any load door any load door you want doesn't matter which one as long as those, as it's a load door and in the model right here underneath the you don't even need to name the door right here under the model you just change it to the location of your copied map flag okay we got that now let's place a map flag. We're going to place one, let's see, uh, where's a good place? Windhelm? Sure, why not? This is, this is Windhelm right here. A little hard to see, but it's, if you know the map very well, that is Windhelm. So we're going to take this here map flag and we're gonna stick it right there and it, it'll it'll look like that that's okay we're gonna hit W and we're gonna tilt it out a little bit and we want to move it in so it's a little in the wall there Whoop! turn the lights on didn't mean to I'm gonna move that in set that right set that up right there okay that's the first part now you want to double click on the map flag and the important part is right here in the in the tabs is that it has teleport so we're gonna slide that off to the side right there and we're gonna go down to the cell view window and we're gonna type in wind and you'll see that it starts to it starts to show you everything and we're gonna to go to Windhelm, we want Windhelm Blue pa uh, Palace of the Kings. I had to think of it. There we go, Palace of the Kings. And we're going to go to the Palace of the Kings. All right, here we are in the Palace of the Kings. We're going to take a look at it right here. We'll look around, and you're going to want to you're going to want to put it someplace where you can stick the corresponding map flag out. 
So let's take a look here and see what we got. Okay, yeah, this will work. There's a lot of light things here. It's hard to hard to uh, figure this out. Okay, we're going to stick our other map flag right here. Now, I've renamed them red and blue so I know which one's which. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the blue map flag right here on the floor. And then I'm going to resize it up. It only gets it only gets so big. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to bring up my reference window that I first opened and stuck off over to the side. And I'm going to click on teleport, click select reference and window, and that's all there is to that. And we'll go ahead and close that out. Now, we're going to want to place our place our uh, thingy here, our, our teleport box. We're going to want to change that around. We want to make sure that it's on nav mesh. So we're going to go ahead and click on our nav mesh. It's good. And while you're here, it's okay. Just finalize your nav mesh. All right. Got that finalized. That's good. Okay. Now, so NPCs won't be messing with your door. Just slide it out here. Just stick it out here in the void. It'd be all right. Just stick it out here in the void, right? Okay. Now, go ahead and you double click on your, get a hold of your teleport box, double click. It'll ask you if you want to view the reference in the cell, in your cell. Yes. And we'll go back to this. Zoom out here. And as you can see, oops. And as you can see, my teleport box is a little screwy. Just a little screwy. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix that right up. Like that. I'm going to drop that to the floor. Turn that around. And we're going to put that over here. Just kind of out here. Now, I don't have this cell nav meshed yet. But this will still this will still work. I've already tested it once with this one that goes to uh, Dragon's Reach. This one goes to the goes to Windhelm. That's good. And go ahead and save your mod. So what's going to happen is is you come up and you can travel from the map flag to where you placed it in wherever you placed your map flag now as far as I know this is gonna be a one-way trip and it should work with followers too because you've placed the teleport box on nav mesh and finalized it alright let's go in game and see if this is gonna work for us okay here we are in my mod and as it, we're gonna walk over here, as you can see, I I got some a lot of statics right here that I made. I made this mesh mash mesh mashup of this table. That's a real real nice mashup. And I did the same thing with I did the same thing with the tables here. I all the food on the plates, the plate, the food, the goblet is all a mesh mashup. So's the ox heads with the apples and stuff on it. That's all a mesh mash up. That's all one mesh that I made. Okay, here we are at our map that I made. Let's take a look here. Now we put a door in right over here. And it says open palace of the kings. Let's go ahead and open it up and see how it works. And I'm just going to let it. I'm just going to let it load up. Now, this you can do this and put the put these things anywhere in Skyrim. You can put a map uh, exit door like at a 
uh, dragon perch and what you do with the if you're in the exteriors just sink the map marker in the ground after you have linked it basically what you're doing is so other NPCs can't follow you so they can't get into the the map mark they can't enter the door and just show up in your house here we go right here, and here we are in the Palace of the Kings, right where I wanted to be. And that's all there is to that. Now, like I said, this is a one-way trip. There's no way to get back. Because if you walk over here and look, there's no map to get out of. And it says use lean wall. That's not me. I didn't do that. Somebody put that in there. I think it's part of the. No, but this one. Oh, that'll work. All right. It exists, and it will be the symbol of the righteousness of All right, guys. This has been episode 23 of my Creation Kit series. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button and share it on social media with your friends as it really helps out the channel. And with the recent um, hysteria over fake news, Google has changed your algorithms. So make sure to hit that little bell button next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching guys and remember until next time keep your sword sharp don't be a milk drinker and always watch the skies traveler.